Okay, so Christmas is over, and now we're going on into New Year's. It seems like yesterday was Halloween. These holidays are flying by. So every New Year's Eve, we invite family and friends over, and we always stay in the house. We don't go out partying or anything. We're just, you know, beyond that. Um, and we play games, and we watch movies, and we maybe, like, cater in some sandwich, uh, mini sandwiches and, and chips and dip and... You know, little uh, and drink lots of coffee because we're going to be up all night, right? One of the great things about coffee is biscotti. If you've never had biscotti, they're usually at the coffee shops. And you dip it in your coffee and it gets real soft and creamy and delicious. As soon as it hits coffee, pull it out, shake it off and bite it. Oh my goodness. I've always wanted to make biscottis. I didn't realize how easy it was till I looked on the internet. I have a great recipe right here. So let's get started. There's many ways to make biscotti. You can dip them in different coatings. You can leave them normal. You can put nuts in them. You can put a bunch of different flavors. Today we're doing a chocolate almond biscotti or biscotti, what is it? Almond biscotti is dipped in chocolate. Whatever you want to call it, I don't care. I got chocolate and I got almonds. That's all that matters. I have eggs. I have sugar here and a little bit of sugar there. Two different uses, that's why I had to split it. Salt and baking powder, vanilla, flour, and my little chopper over here I'm going to be using. So let's get this recipe started. Hopefully it's going to be super simple. Because if it is, I'm making a whole bunch more. All right, first thing we're going to do, put your oven on at 350. Get that preheated. Then you're going to lay out all your almonds on a cookie sheet like this. And you're going to toast them for 10 minutes at 350. Leave the oven on. Bring these back all toasty. And we'll show you the next step. Do not turn the oven off, okay? Okay, bring the toasted almonds over. Let them cool. All right, so take your little food processor, grinder, chopper. I have no idea, whatever it is you use. Go ahead and put your almonds in there and a little bit of sugar. And just kind of grind this up. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, it's a nice little powder. Can you? Can you see that? There you go. Okay, so now we're gonna add in our other dry ingredients. That's going to be the flour. I don't know if it's gonna be big enough. This may not be big enough. The baking soda and salt. All right, so now let me show you what it looks like. Now it looks like white goodness. Okay, now we got a bowl, put this off to the side. Okay, got my three eggs in the bowl. You're gonna take your sugar, put that in there too. And of course your vanilla. There we go. Then you're gonna mix it on high, light and fluffy for about three minutes. Okay, now let's put in our almonds, whole almonds. All the ones we toasted. I'm just gonna mix these in here. I went, went overboard. Whoops. Too long. A little short. And a little short. All right. So anyway, we're gonna get these in the oven right now at 350, the instructions are down below. Let's pop these in and we'll bring them out and we're gonna be cutting them and doing more stuff to them. All right, we're gonna pull them out right now. They're not completely done, that's the whole idea. But I don't want them getting, getting too dark before I get a chance to cut them. Now, before we cut these, drop your oven to 325. Okay. Put that on the cutting board. I'll put these off to the side for now. As I said, half inch. Mine are probably gonna be an inch because I don't know how to measure well with my eyes. But I'm going to cut them anyway, like that. All right, there you go. 20 more minutes at 325 till they're hard and crispy. Now we just gotta dip them in chocolate, but let me show you one. Up close, look at, look how beautiful that came out. Think about nice, perfectly shaped. It's 
got the almonds inside. See? Okay, so we're now doing, my wife came in to help because she's got to dip some peanut butter balls. So she says, get out of the way. I'll make the melt the chocolate. Right? Right, Tammy? Yes. All right. So anyway, she's doing the kind of the lazy man's double boiler. Basically, we have a pot of water down here that's boiling. And you, there you go. And then you set the other one in there like that and just slowly melt the chocolate bits. Okay, so this is what it, this is what it looks like. Goes in halfway. Pull it out halfway. Beautiful. And then set it on the, I'm using wax paper today, but just line them up right there on the wax paper and let them cool. Okay, there it is. Look, I just pulled it out of the freezer. Tammy told me to put them all in the freezer because they harden a lot better. So she's right. Look how perfect they came out. So I'm gonna try this one right now. Isn't that nice? You can even see the almonds in there. See the almonds right there? Yeah, it's beautiful. All right, so I'm trying this one. The rest are in the freezer, getting ready for the party. Okay, so my wife's behind me doing more dipping in more chocolate. We're finishing this up. Um, we're gonna have uh, friends and family over for New Year's Eve, just like I told you guys, and it is going to be awesome. Lots of coffee. Ready? Here we go. Mmm, mm, wow. I can't believe I made this. I pay all this money for this. I'm never paying for biscotti again. Seriously. Mmm. Oh, hits the spot. Remember, dip it in coffee, okay? If you don't make them, at least buy one at the coffee shop and try biscotti. They're awesome. All right, you guys. I'll see you on the next episode. Tammy, say goodbye. Bye. Happy New Year. Take care.